Day 2 for Arm Recognition Editorial Team at MSPO 2019, the International Defense Industry Exhibition in Kielce, Poland. As official online show daily news and web television, we cover every day with daily video. Today we will focus our video coverage about the Polish Defense Industry and we will visit the PGZ Defense Association of Polish Defense Industry. Paweł Zawada, CRW Telesystem Mesco. Uh, this is robot called Perkun, and this is a demonstration of technology of new anti-aircraft system. Uh, so our cooperation is the synergy of the PIAP worldwide known producer of robots and Telesystem Opto Electronics company that is a producer of Opto Electronics electronics for uh, air anti-aircraft missile. Uh, Artur Soszyński, PIAP. A business development manager and so the idea of the cooperation was the to integrate the missile system with the mobile robots so it's a relative lightweight mobile platform because armored mobile platforms weight it's a very something around 150 kilograms this one is only 300 kilograms so the average speed is something around 10 kilometers per hour and the drag capacity for real it's not uh, defined because it's dedicated built for the missile system. So there is no lift the drag capacity for real. In all terrain condition uh, because of the 6x6 six six wheel drive which uh, provide you very good uh, driving capabilities so it doesn't matter where it goes. You use the man pass systems. Uh, with the mobile robot, so you do not have to send the uh, personal people uh, with the system, so it's easier to, to operate. That, that's the remote control system, but of course it could be also the stationary. It depends on the customer and their requirements. If it got to be more flexible, more remote, we've got the small control panel. If, if you got fixed it, it could be stationary. So, if you can see the system is going now to travel position, deploy position. It's really low and it, is, it can travel with, with, with such a position. Later on when, when he starts to, he knows that there is a treat, he starts to track. When the operator sees the target, he locks the track and then the system tracks the missile. You are using an IFF system to see if it's friend or foe. And after, after identification of the, of the treat, the operator conquered the treat. This is a demonstration of the technology. So we are showing what we can do. Uh, Piap is the producer of the robots. They make these robots, they sell these robots. We are making the electronics and parts for the missile and other electronics. And we are a producer of Kusha system. So we have a lot of knowledge and experience in this system. And we are ready to develop and finish the system, but we need to have a uh, requirements from the uh, military guys or from other customer. My name is Etienne Rancourt. I'm manager business development for Rainmetal Canada. This product is uh, the Mission Master UGV. It is uh, an autonomous uh, unmanned ground vehicle. It is a modular platform. So as you mentioned, uh, it is capable uh, within 30 minutes, you, you can change the configuration of this platform from uh, a basic cargo, uh, last mile resupply vehicle to uh, protection UGV. So with different uh, uh, protection modules, we integrate uh, remote weapon station, we integrated uh, TALIS 70 uh, millimeter guided rockets in uh, last February and now we are working with a local partner here WB Electronics uh, a very very impressive company uh, with uh, that, that developed two blanched warmates which are uh, UAVs with uh, warheads uh, anti-tank, anti-vehicle warheads and then uh, we also have uh, different module, other mission modules like the Medevac 
communication relay, even a firefighter uh, version. So it is a fully, fully modular platform. The brain of the machine is the AI we developed in Canada, at Rainmetal Canada. The uh, uh, AI is quite advanced. Actually, I think we are a front runner in terms of uh, AI. Uh, Rainmetal Canada has developed also a soldier system, which is called the Argus. So the UGV can be fully controlled through the soldier, one single soldier actually can control the UGV and the weapon system uh, mounted on it, which is quite revolutionary. Uh, so Argus, you can also control the UGV with a smartwatch. You can control the UGV with a tablet, a ruggedized tablet or a, a normal iPad actually. It works on LTE network, it works on, uh, on, uh, on radio, military radio uh, uh, channels, it works uh, even uh, in GPS denied environment. So you lose contact with the UGV, the UGV will be programmed to come back to the base or to perform the mission depending how the user sees it. This, uh, this vehicle has an autonomy, uh, is a fully electric vehicle, low heat signature, almost no noise uh, when it's uh, operating. It has an eight hour uh, autonomy uh, and it can cover at about uh, 220 kilometers. So plenty of autonomy uh, for your mission, standard mission, patrol mission. Uh, this vehicle is amphibious as well also, so it can carry up to 300 kilograms on deep water at a, at a five kilometer uh, speed, about five kilometer speed, uh, but on the ground it can go up to 30 kilometers per hour. However, uh, should you want to go faster, you can actually unlock the hubs and tow the vehicle up to 80 kilometers per hour. So lots of flexibility there. Dominik uh, Wodygowski, trade and marketing specialist, Fabrika Broni Ucznik Radom from Poland. The main activity is, um, you know, just making uh, small arms uh, assault rifles, pistols, uh, and uh, semi automatic uh, sniper rifle. The latest product is uh, semi automatic sniper rifle. So, as you can see, this is a um, uh, caliber uh, 308 or 762 by uh, 51 NATO. Uh, this is a weapon for a uh, marksman rifle or sniper rifle. Uh, we have uh, two variants of barrels. Uh, we have a 16-inch barrel and 20-inch inch barrel. So here you have a 20-inch barrel uh, with a long scope. And um, so you can shoot till uh, 800 meters, something like that, you know. If we are talking about 762 by 51 uh, caliber, it's 100%. Uh, it has a, a 20, 20 or uh, 25 uh, rounds magazine, and this is, you know, typical semi-automatic sniper rifle. You know, yes, here we have a 16-inch barrel with a suppressor, with a suppressor. Uh, the magazine is uh, 20, 25 rounds. And also here, we have like, uh, you see different systems, you know, you can, uh, you can adjust it uh, by hands, like a manual system. And also you can use it, uh, you can use, uh, um, how do you call it? Quick, uh, adjustable, adjustable, yeah. This is the same, uh, the same carbine, but different uh, barrel length. So this is a semi-automatic uh, pistol, uh, nine millimeter. So nine uh, by uh, 19 parabellum. Um, this is fully ambidextrous pistol. As you can see, we have a uh, 15 rounds uh, magazine and uh, typical uh, Browning system. So. Um, it makes this this uh, this pistol very reliable. In terms of combat vehicles, uh, PGZ unveils three new combat vehicles, including artillery system, main battle tank and armored personal carrier. Behind me is the new Rosomac XP version. 
The main features is a new internal layout offering more space for the crew and for the infantrymen and also the increase of the protection. The new 8x8 Rosomac XP wheel platform was created on the basis of previous experience gained during operation of KTO Rosomax vehicles, setting a new standard for the construction of 8x8 wheel vehicle platform. The Rosomac 8x8 XP is a vehicle with large space and high load capacity, providing the possibility of easily installation of specialized equipment in accordance with the user requirements, enabling an integration of weapon system protection and crew equipment at the same time. Thanks to the modern solution in the area of crew protection, the vehicle has been upgraded with a high level of ballistic and mine protection. The basic design of Rosomac 8x8 XP already provides a crew protection inside the vehicle in accordance with Sanac 4569 Level 4AB. The Leopard 2PL is a program to upgrade the Leopard 2A4 main battle tank in service with the Polish Army. The upgrade package includes the following features. Implementation of the commander and gunner site with three generation camera, additional ballistic modules on the turret, replacement of the hydraulic stabilization system to new digital system, installation of modernized fire extinguish and new fire suppression system, implementation of a new commander's control and monitoring system, implementation of auxiliary power units, new turret storage compartment for crew equipment and customized towing evacuation equipment to the increased weight of the tank, modernization of main gun with its adaptation to the new types of ammunition, implementation of day-night driver rear camera. In the field of artillery, uh, the Polish company HSW presents the rack motor in a tracked version. The wheel version is already in service with the Polish Armed Forces. The 120mm rack motor system is fully autonomous. It has a firing range of 10 kilometers. The turret of this artillery vehicle has a traverse of 360 degrees and elevation from minus 3 to plus 80 degrees. It has a firing rate from 6 to 8 rounds per minute and a maximum firing range of 10 kilometers.